Cycling doesn't necessarily need to take a huge investment to get going, but there are a few essentials that you need to ensure your safety, and I guess more importantly, to make sure you have an enjoyable time while out on the bike, because that is what it's all about. The key here is to know exactly what kind of cycling you're gonna be doing so that you can make the right choice. For example, if you're looking for riding on smooth, fast roads, then a road bike is what you're gonna to wanna to choose. If you're looking to do some off-roady kind of stuff, some gentle off-road tracks, some gravel, then it's a gravel bike you might be looking for. And even a hybrid bike if you're doing a mix of a little bit of everything. The key here is to know exactly what you want to do. There's a huge variety of bikes out there and there's also a huge variety of prices too so that it can fit in to the budget you've got. You can wear whatever you like and whatever you feel comfortable riding in. Actually, no, please don't wear Speedos. Nah, absolutely not. But what I'm trying to say is you can really wear whatever you want on the bike as long as you feel comfortable riding in them. But if you're still wondering, well, we have got a video on what not to wear on the channel. And that one's worth checking out. But as cool and as easy as casual kit is, there is a reason why cycling specific kit was designed. And it's mainly for your comfort and it's so we don't have to see this. Now it's fair to say you can cycle and ride a bike and pretty much anything. But the better clothing and cycling specific clothing you have, the better experience and the more comfortable you'll be. Now there are a few things that you need to look out for. Good fitting clothing, moisture wicking fabrics, and most importantly, padded shorts. Now these are an absolute must. Now personally, there are a few things I just can't live without when it comes to cycling. First off, a gilet. In my opinion, it's an absolute must. It gives you a bit of added protection when it comes to the wind, if you're feeling a little bit chilly, and it tucks up and folds up really nicely in your back pocket, so it's easy to take with you. A cycling specific jersey. Now in my mind, they're not only comfortable to ride in, but they're also good for aerodynamics, which is a must for me. And last but not least, leg warmers. In my mind, they're an imperative and an essential item because you can take them on and off really easily and you don't need to carry bib tights with you. And you can just chuck on a pair of leg warmers and chuck them in your back pocket and jobs are good in. All right, let's get back on the bike. Helmet is a must. In my mind, it's one of the most important pieces of gear. Yes, it could really save your life, but the key things to look for are ones that are comfortable, you like wearing, and ultimately you feel good in, because that way you're actually going to wear it. Now, there are a few things you wanna look for, like a certified helmet. Now, I like to choose a helmet with MIPS in. Now, this is a protection system built into the helmet, which gives you that bit more protection if you did have an incident. This could be labeled with a European CEEN1078 standard sticker. Or if you live in the US, your helmet should conform to the US Snell B90 B95 standard. And oh yeah, you Australians out there, an ASNZS2063 2008 certification. Now training is absolutely fine if you're starting out, but as you get more into your cycling, you're gonna want a cycling specific shoe. You're gonna want a pair of cleats. Now they do take a little bit longer to get used to, but it's worth it because trust me, you'll feel so much better on the bike and you'll be more efficient in your pedaling. And trust me, you're gonna wanna do that. So you can fly up the climbs like this, woo! Now, if I were you, I would look for a cycling specific shoe like this one. Now, a few key aspects to the shoe you wanna look for are a closed toe and a firm sole. Now, this is only gonna help with your riding. Now, the better you get at cycling and the more you do it, in my opinion, you're also gonna want some clipless pedals. So a cleat on the bottom of your shoe may look like that. Gloves. Yes, a lot of cyclists can't live without them. They do give you some added benefits. They've got some padding, which stops the vibration coming up through the road, but most importantly, they've got an added bit of protection. So if you do hit the deck, you're saved. Next up, sunnies. Now, in my opinion, they're an absolute must. First off, they make you look cool. I mean, there's no arguing with that, but there are 
some practicalities. They keep the wind and the flies and bugs out your eyes. And if you're anything like Manon, it will stop you from crying too. Yeah. For some reason, she, every, she cries all the time when she's on biting me. No idea why. Then there are a few things that you're going to need to keep you riding, to keep you on the road. First off, it's a mini pump. They're small, they're portable, and if you ever have issues with tires and pumping them up, well, they come in really handy. The great thing about them is they fit nicely in your back pocket. That's if you remember to bring it with you. Yeah, I've made that mistake a few times. <music> Following on from a mini pump, yep, it's an inner tube, just in case you have an unfortunate flat while on the open road. And last but not least, a multi-tool and some tire levers, just in case you have any issues with your bike while out on the road. A top tip for you is carrying a saddlebag. That way you can put in all those bits and bobs into your saddlebag, leave it on your bike, and that way you'll never forget it. Now, if you're someone who rides in bad weather or low lights, then a pair of lights is gonna be absolutely key. Not only does it allow you to see, it also allows you to be seen. So it keeps you nice and safe. Yes, it has to be said, you can spend the world when it comes to cycling. You can get more specific with your kit, so you can get better clothing, better shoes, better helmet, better bike, better wheels, and the list goes on. But it does take me to the front of the video, which is you can ride in pretty much anything you might not be as comfortable. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. The last thing you need to do for me now is hit that thumb up button. Thumbs up button, I'll get there. See you in the next one.